It may be hard to believe, but in 2016, the Goslin kids have celebrated their 10th anniversary as reality TV stars. And as of May 10, 2017, they're all teenagers. The sextuplets, Leah, Alexis, Hannah, Aiden, Colin, and Joel all turned 13, while older twins, Maddie and Kara, are now 16. They all still live near Reading, Pennsylvania, with their mom, Kate, who famously divorced their dad, John Goslin, in an ugly public split that played out in the tabloids. But thanks to TLC, fans got to keep up with Kate and the kids in Kate Plus 8. Here's a peek at what the Goslin gang's up to now. Leah When she was a toddler, Leah was the little princess. John and Kate even said that she was aware of her precious status and would use it to get out of things she didn't want to do. If you want her to do something, her excuse sometimes is, But I'm, I'm little. little. Described as a math whiz in 2013 People Profile, Leah still leans toward the analytical. Kate says, Leah is very solution-finding, problem-solving, and effective. She's small but mighty. Watch out. Colin In August of 2016, Kate revealed that Colin was living apart from the family as part of treatment for behavioral issues. She told People, Colin has special needs. There's a fairly fluid diagnosis of what those needs are, but he needs to learn certain strategies to help him deal with things. Colin even had to miss the little kid's 12th birthday party in 2016, which was tough for the whole family. Kate said, We miss him so much, so it's been hard because there is a huge hole in our family without him here. But it comforts us to know he's where he needs to be right now, and I can feel good about that. When Colin was born, Kate says he was the biggest of the sextuplets. He was a very laid-back baby, which Kate now says would definitely not fit him at all. She admits she's still trying to figure him out. I know that he likes to be in charge and in control. Alexis According to In Touch, Alexis is known as the family comedienne. As a toddler, she sharpened that sense of humor to specifically annoy people like her cousin and nemesis, Alyssa. Now a teenager, Alexis is pretty easygoing. In a recent episode in which the little kids were packing for a trip, older sister Maddie explained her sister doesn't dress to impress. That's because Alexis wears three outfits. Yeah. In her whole life. Sure. That's not true. Apparently, she isn't too concerned with fashion, but Alexis maintains her exuberance no matter what. She finds joy in the smallest of things. It's like life is a gift that she unwraps every day. Joel The male counterpart to Alexis' easygoing ways has to be Joel. Kate describes her dutiful helper. Joel is, I, I don't want to say you forget about him, but he definitely is able to just meld in and fly under the radar. One thing Joel and Alexis don't have in common? That fashion sense. According to People, Dad John once described Joel as a ladies' man. Joel was more humble, suggesting his sense of style was a personal matter, saying, quote, I like to look good. Hannah She's always been known as the most mature of the little kids. Even as a toddler, Hannah preferred to hang around Kate while she did housework and help her with adulting like folding the laundry. Of course, her mom noticed. Child's play is just too below her level. As a teenager, Hannah has kept on that path. In keeping with her goal of wanting to someday open a bakery, she now helps prepare meals and keeps the family pantry organized, pulling a total mini Kate when she snapped at Leah for missing an item on one of Kate's checklists. Leah, are you blind? But Kate has her daughter's number, recognizing her inherited talents. Hannah is in charge. She's the mother of them. She gets involved in every drama situation. She definitely is a lot like me. And older sister Maddie agrees. Hannah is Mrs. Bossy. Aiden. Nicknamed the professor when he was a baby, Aiden seemed to study everything with academic level intensity. He eventually channeled his focus into athletics, telling people in 2013 that his goal was to run in the Olympics. Though Kate also relies on Aiden to help around the house, she enjoys her son's emerging comedic side. His amazing sense of humor came out of nowhere, and the kid is funny. Really. Kara. 
Though Kara is the older twin by a total of six minutes, she has always deferred to her more outgoing sister Maddie. Often appearing together for the interview portion of the show, it's Maddie who usually speaks for both of them. Kara's shy nature was revealed when she didn't say a word during the now infamous 2014 Today Show clip, in which she and Maddie humiliated Kate just by being typical 13-year-old girls. In a recent interview with People, in which the twins were asked to respond to their dad's claims that they were, quote, being kept from him, Kara said, I wouldn't even know what to say about him. But despite her type B personality, Kara is still a typical 16-year-old girl. Not only is she learning to drive, on a John Deere tractor no less, the TLC cameras reveal she's also taken an interest in boys. And how does mom feel about Kara's flirting? There, these are the very first moments of probably many more to come. It worries me. Maddie. Anyone who's seen a minute of the show knows that Maddie is Kate's personality doppelganger. From the very beginning of the show, when the older twins were just four years old, Maddie demonstrated her sass and general over itness that are both classic Kate traits. In 2012, Maddie told people she dreamed of being on the Disney Channel, and while that hasn't become a reality, she is definitely the standout personality of the Gosling gang. Maddie even lashed out at John, a la Kate, for talking about their estranged relationship in the press, telling people, This year, I'm going to turn 16. I'm going to be learning to drive, taking the PSATs, thinking about college, so much is going on in my life, and the last thing I have time for is a toxic relationship. Sticking together all things considered, the Gosling kids seem to be enjoying a great life, and they're all remarkably well-adjusted considering six of them have been on TV since their literal births. Though mom Kate still has her moments, she's obviously doing her best to bring up the large brood in a loving and fulfilling environment. Reality TV show or not, that's what's kept us watching for over a decade. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.